Welcome to another edition of Digital Marketing 101. I am Solomon Timothy. Today's question that we're answering is how do I assess if my marketing is working? That is a fantastic question. I love it. Let's get started. If you're wondering how well your marketing is working, marketing is a challenging system to really measure the effectiveness, right? Like how do you know if marketing is working? Sometimes people measure marketing by the dollar amount that it's sold. If you say, hey, for every dollar I put in, I mean, I've talked to business owners that are thinking different numbers, right? They, they say, I need $20 for every dollar I put in. I mean. If I can get that, why wouldn't I just do it? I mean, think about it. So that's not real assessing your quality. Those folks never advertise because they're never gonna get $20 for every dollar they, they put in and they don't put in anything and they kind of stay where they are. So that's not a good way of assessing it. Another way of assessing is, hey, I'm just doing a lot of marketing and I'm not seeing any results. I'm not getting any leads. So I think the whole thing is not working and let's just you know call it quits, right? That's not gonna help you if it's working. I think the best way to assess if your marketing is working is to really identify who are you marketing to in that different stages of the funnel. So if you're trying to get more sales, this bottom of funnel stuff is way harder than getting somebody to come to your webpage and like your content. In fact, over here, you're looking for thumbs up on a video. You're looking for people to maybe subscribe to your channel. They're maybe gonna download an ebook type of funnel, you can get thousands of people to see it, if, if not millions, let's do millions. You can have a million views, million impressions, million everything. As it goes down, maybe you can have a thousand. Over here, you might only be a hundred. At different level, things are harder and harder. So you have to really think about that. Where are you measuring? What are you measuring? Are you measuring a KPI? KPI means Key Performance Indicator at the bottom of funnel or are you measuring KPIs that are higher? You have to have different KPIs for every campaign and every campaign has to have a purpose of where that is going to help somebody in the funnel. Everything in your marketing, every email that ever sent, every invitation to watch a webinar, every content you've created and every email newsletter you made has to have a purpose in that funnel so that you can get the ROI that you're looking for. A lot of times I think people aren't clear what to assess. So they're sort of worried about looking at the hole and say, how do I assess it? I put in $10,000, we made $2,000. How does this make sense? Or they put in 10,000, they got 20,000. They're saying, is that good enough? Should it be better? I promise you that if you can invest a lot, a lot, a lot of time and energy into building awareness, in the marketplace and letting people know that you're the best solution for their challenges. That is to be something for somebody. You're very focused, you have a niche you've carved out and you wanna be the leader in it, you're going to have no problem converting that marketing investment into paying customers. But when you have a very unfocused, broad, sort of marketing campaign, you think everybody breathing is a customer, you're going to have really poor return on investment. Mark my words. What I always see is that marketing campaigns are poorly performing because they don't know who they're targeting. They don't know their target persona. They don't know what kind of industry it is. They sort of are looking for anybody that could fit, you know, anybody that's 18 and 65. That is not a good target. That is not a good way to target because you really haven't identified who your customers are. Secondly, you haven't identified what your KPIs are. That means before you start, what are we measuring for? What is considered success? In marketing, people talk about smart goals, right? Smart goals, smart goals. If you don't know what smart goals are, there's like 7,000 videos on YouTube on smart goals. I'm not gonna go there. But essentially, it is to really identify is this achievable? Is there a timeline for it? Can we actually reach this? Or is this some crazy goal that just sounds really good, but there's no way that we can achieve it? Think about it, if you're putting in a dollar and you're trying to get $20 back, probably not realistic. If you put in a dollar, you get three, oh my gosh, you're getting amazing return. And if you're getting more than three, you don't even have to watch this video anymore. Close out and go back to what you're doing because it's clearly working. But most organizations can get there because of the fact that they don't know who they're targeting to. They actually have no idea what their KPI should be 
so that they're kind of concerned about the result. In marketing, it's going to be continually getting more competitive. That means that attention is harder and harder and harder. If you can get more people's attention up here, then you can naturally convert those people to becoming leads in your pipeline and they can convert if you can make sure they're the right people for you. All right, so this is very, very critical that in order to assess if your marketing is working to first identify what your focus is and identify what you're hoping to accomplish. If you're trying to get $1 million from one campaign, at the end of the campaign, your job is to get $1 million. We are absolutely clear what we're looking for. And so that we can put together a strategy based on how much traffic we need to generate, how many leads we need to get, how many of those people need to purchase so that we can get a million dollars. Absolutely, we have our focus. We know what the niche is. We know what the marketing campaign is. We know how much we're going to invest. We might have to invest $300,000 to get to a million dollars. If you think otherwise, call me. People think making a million dollars is quick. So you may have to invest a third of that to get the million dollars, but still you're getting three X. If you can do that, then you are going to be way more successful than people that are sort of assessing and saying, hey, if I put in 300,000, I need 30 million. That may or may not be possible, depending on where you are in the marketplace. If you're a well-known player, that might be easy for you because you don't have to convince people to buy from you because you're already the leader. But if you're a startup, your company just getting started, or your company that has been there but really haven't made a mark for yourself, that might be significantly different. So the way to assess it is depending on where you are and where your strategy lies, where your qualities are, where your brand is, your brand equity, and also it's in comparison with how much money your competitors are spending to acquire the same customer. There is a saying that whoever spends the most in acquiring a customer wins, all right? Whoever spends the most, even when they lose money, they spend money because of the high payback. Companies like Amazon will spend any amount of money to get a customer because when they get the customer, they're there for life. So they don't care if it costs them $1,000 to get a customer and they only buy a $5 product because over time, they're gonna be buying tens and thousands of dollars of product. The math makes sense, we call this customer lifetime value. So customer lifetime value is what they're solving for and what they call their acquisition cost or customer acquisition cost. They will spend any amount of money to get that because of the fact that every single customer keeps buying more and more and more and the purchase is getting bigger and bigger. Everybody in the home is buying more stuff and they buy, give you all the tools and gadgets to make more sales and they're gonna get significantly more money back than they ever would invest. So once you know that, it's easy, it's a mathematic equation, you can go ahead and solve for that for yourself. So if you have more questions about how to assess, what to be looking for, where am I struggling in my funnel, top, middle, bottom, we have 100 plus consultants here to help you answer your questions. Over 100 people that solve this challenge is for organizations all over the world. We'll love to have a conversation to help you understand exactly what your challenges are so you can have a better answer for your organization. And if you enjoyed this video, I want you to click that like button, click the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, leave me a comment about assessing marketing, KPIs, return on investment, or if you think every dollar should be $1 million back, hey, I love to see you, and I wanna leave you a comment, and I wanna definitely engage with you on a personal level. Leave me a comment, tell me what your thoughts are. We'll love to read your comment and have a follow-up, and I will see you next time.